you're most welcome, you're most welcome to hear what will follow as it will be merely quotations. All I will be doing is quoting some things from the Bible and otherwise from the Christian belief system to present it to the people for those who don't know any better to know. And this is the crowd that we're aiming at. Those who don't know any better and wish to learn in order for them to make accurate decisions pertaining to where they think salvation is in this life of ours. Islamic Christianity both believe in what is known as the six pillars of faith. Although they are clearly defined in Islam and the famous narration of Jibreel. Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, may be the peace of Allah and his blessings be upon him, is the angel the, known as Gabriel in English. And he is the very angel which was responsible for bringing revelation to the prophets and the messengers. He is the very angel which we discussed before uh, that was sent to Mary, peace be upon her, and he blew into her sleeve by which she became pregnant or she conceived Jesus, the Messiah, the son of Mary. May Allah's peace and his blessings be upon him. In one particular narration in Islam, Jibreel came to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in the form of a human being, appeared to be well-dressed and somewhat handsome, if that term is applicable. And he asked the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, about Islam, he asked him about Iman or faith, he asked him about Ihsan or goodness, if that word is not sufficient in English, but that's the closest word. And he asked him about the signs of the Day of Judgment. In the portion where the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, answered Gabriel pertaining to faith, he told him that faith and took in Abillahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wa liyum al akhir wa took in Abil Khairi wa took in Abil Qadari afwan khairihi wa sharri. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, answered him by saying, Belief is to believe in Allah. His angels, his books, his messengers, the day of judgment or the day of resurrection or the last day, and to believe in destiny or preordainment, the good thereof and the evil. These six pillars of faith were defined by the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu After Gabriel departed, the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked his companions, Do you know who that was? They said, Allah and His Messenger knows best. He said, This was Gabriel. He came to teach you your affairs, uh, the affairs of your religion. He came to teach you the affairs of your religion. So let us look into these six pillars of faith from two perspectives, like from two different cameras. The Islamic camera or view or perspective versus the Christian one. Although we share the titles or the headings and believing in God, the angels, the books, the messengers, in the day of judgment, the preordainment, when we elaborate or get more extensive in our research, we will find that the essence of this belief is in total contradiction, major difference in the concept. The heading is the same, but the concept is different. And a worthy example that we can relate to is that you can have two schools called where? Al-Hikmah. I'm not trying to you know, advertise any particular school. Al-Hikmah school. There may be two of them. One in some country and another one in another country. The fact that these two schools share the title does not necessitate that the teachers, the curriculum, the methodology, the students, the structure of the, the, the actual schools are the same. Rather, they may be totally opposite. One school may be excellent versus the other one may be very bad. So sharing the title does not indicate that the essence is identical. This is the same thing as Ibn Abbas, which was a companion of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, said when he was describing paradise. He said the only thing that is common between paradise